There are a couple of things that I saw out there along the way on the series of tubes that I thought simply had to be shared. Uh, one of them uh, comes to us from the San Francisco area. A story of uh, one of those things, one of those inexplicable things that just happens, or we like to think they just happen, although being is how human beings have a profound impact on the planet. Everybody doing something has an impact on something else. Not strict cause and, re- cause and effect, uh, but close enough. Thousands of jellyfish litter San Francisco's ocean beach. Now, without sounding, without sounding totally crass to nature, I hate jellyfish. If you have ever been stung by one, or for that matter, if you have ever taken care of, say, oh, I don't know, an eight-year-old little girl who has been stung by one, you will develop a real animus for jellyfish. But apparently there was a huge swell overnight in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, that literally uh, inside the pounding surf washed tens of thousands of jellyfish up onto Ocean Beach in San Francisco. It, literally tens of thousands, like a strip three miles long by 20 deep in jellyfish. I know, it just kind of makes me go... Uh, George Durgarian... Uh, is with the Park Service, the National Park Service, and it just it, it blew his mind when he saw it. Uh, he said it was like a huge cobblestone walkway made of jellyfish. We don't know why it happened. And the thing that kind of blows my mind is, it, it, even if it's a natural occurrence, somewhere along along the way, there had to be like, because these are fully grown adult jellyfish, there had to be like this jellyfish convention going on for them all to get caught up in this current. It's just a news story. There's a fascinating slideshow with it. It's at ktvu.com. If you just uh, uh, if, you, if you want to see the slideshow, and it's it's worth it. I mean, it's mind-boggling. Ktvu jellyfish uh, will get you there on a uh, search on the Google. So anyway, the, the the story out of all of this, or what I found interesting, was the final line. Uh, George Dugarian, again a spokesman with the National Park Service. The final line of the news story from KD, KTVU says. He said there was no planned cleanup or rescue for the jellyfish. Well, I understand the no cleanup part because, frankly, there's not a lot to clean up. They're mostly water. I mean, they, they really are. They're like, they're like something out of James Cameron's The Abyss, right? Um, but it was the, the, it, it's okay. It's the rescue part that got me. I admit it. I just can't imagine. Can you? A jellyfish rescue. But as it turns out, I was able to imagine a jellyfish rescue. And uh, as a consequence, uh, I immediately drafted the uh, PETA, uh, the PETA jellyfish rescue press release. For immediate release, PETA rescues wayward jellyfish. Dateline, San Francisco. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, the organization whose sole purpose is to end human cruelty to animals, Announced today that it is proudly, ouch, rescuing the, ouch, goddammit, jellyfish, and Jesus Christ, that effing hurts, returning them to their, can I just go throw paint on somebody homes in the, oh, screw these little, I need a half-calf caramel macchiato with soy milk foam and a vegan organic biscotti, C. Because I gotta, I gotta think that that's a, that is what a jellyfish rescue would sound like. Jellyfish rescue. Which, jellyfish wrangling. Yeah, I know. 